know, we have to think about the, the big picture. So you are having about a third of the global wheat supply coming from the, this region, the conflict. So you realize that this is, you are talking about food security. The most paramount job of any government is to have food security. And basically, you have a total disruption on that. So you know that, uh, how you said, hot cereal, something like that we said previously. So basically, you will have, every government will have to get the wheat from further away, pay any price, uh, make sure long distances, and bring the transportation cost up. So this is something that it is, as we say, is math. It's going to happen. We have seen a similar kind of a situation, but in much lesser degree with the Arab Spring, which was, was just a price increase. Today we have a whole disruption. Of course, the good thing is that disruption on uh, grain supplies can recover in a couple of crops. I'm always optimistic that this will happen and will recover. So from a point of shipping, in the short term, this can be uh, create uh, longer transportation, higher cost, and uh, freight. In the other side, we are looking on oil and gas. And there, again, the disruption with Europe is about 40% gets the uh, gas from uh, Russia, 30% of the oil. So basically, the most efficient route, which was, is disrupted. So you have to really go from further away. And that, again, creates longer uh, trips and a disruption to the whole supply chain. 